All right, the next one, we're going to show you how you can calculate the pitch force using the opt, the optimum method, OPT. So again, when we have the frame size of three, we're going to list back three references pitch force here, zero, two, and eight. Okay, and followed by zero, you have a request for a pitch zero, which already existed in our list. And we just copy the value over like what we did for the FIFO. Now next one is looking for a three. So as our opt method, opt algorithm explains that we're going to replace the page that will not be used for the longest period. So we need to check the value, okay, the page value that is going to be in future, and we need to look into the next step of these pages. Okay, so we have a value of 0, 2, 8 here. So we need to check all this value one by one by looking at the next page. Right, by looking at the next step. So first, let's compare with 0. Now, with, with the current position here, you're looking to the right. So let's compare it first with 0. So we have the zero here, so it shows that zero will not be the candidate that to be replaced. So we just put a small cross here, right? So the next one we consider about two. So again, we look at to the right to see whether we have a two. So here is a zero, four, two. So you have two again, right? So again, two will not be replaced. So we put a small cross here and let's see if we have 8 as well so we look to the right and we find that we don't have 8 okay so it shows that 8 will be replaced with 3 okay and we box it up to show that it's a page fault so again we just move the value over to right now, the next step is again ask for zero. So zero has been uh, appearing in our list here. So there's still page faults involved and we just copy the value just to the right, okay? Now the next step is looking for page four. So four is not in our list. And we need to find a place to replace it. So first, we consider about zero again. So let's look to the right to see whether we have zero. So here we have zero value. So zero is not the candidate, right? The next one, look into two. So we have two here. So again, two is not the candidate. So let's see three. So we don't have three here. So three will be the candidate here, All right? So again, we move on pass the value over and the next page uh, next tab is looking for page 2 so again 2 has been appearing so we're just putting back the value without making any box to show us that we don't have any page fault and again same thing for 0 again we already have a 0 inside so we just rewrite it again and the last one is looking for the value of 5 right so there's no more value for us to refer there right so in this case when there's no more value we will apply the FIFO method so FIFO method is to look into the oldest memory in the page right so by checking with the boxes here we can find that we are comparing the position of the 0 2 and 4 here so it shows that 0 is having the oldest memory page which is the V4 type. So we'll be replacing five with the first position here. So let's put five here, right? The box it up to show our page faults and transfer the values over. So now we can calculate how many page faults that we have by using the op algorithm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So together we have a page faults of six, four. Opt algorithm.